Hello everybody, this is the first nearest Starfire C2 UV DTF printer. This printer can print on AB film with low to low material and also can print on the cabins, vinyl, leather, lots of different material with low to low printing and laminating all in one. So this video will teach you how to install and using and maintain the Focus Starfire C2 UVDTF printer. So this is the front view of the printer. This printer is go with the printer and the UV cooling box. This is the main body of the printer and at the bottom is the key and the UV control box. So now let's let's go to see the details of the printer. And now I'll teach you the name and the function for each spare parts. The front we can see here it have the cover that we can open the cover at the middle and then we can see this the <coughs> linear rear and motion belt and tank chain and the, the A film this is the A film and this is the heating laminate laminato laminato heating tuber Button, the button at the top, the button heating rubber can be up down motion. And here is the temperature sensor to detect the current temperature of the the roller, the heating roller. And the button is the driver driver roller. Go with the motor at the left side to drive the motor motion and then the motion rubber at the bottom is go with the motor at the left side to drive the film motion for printing at the top here is the roller to hold the film b this is the front b film go from here from here to here <coughs> and here is the front, the tension loader, release loader for the film B. And here we can adjust the tension. And also we can move the film to left or to right. Here we also have a tension rubber here. And when we load it, here is the lock. We can move out, we can push back. After push up the load load inside, then we will close, we lock. Also left right side, have the pinch, have the, the lock. So this is the film B and the hot loader for film B, <coughs> the heating loader for the laminating. And here is for take up, take paper take up device. Here's the switch for lockwise close, middle is close, lockwise lockshin, go to heat is lockshin, and then close, a stop motion, and then grade two is for anti-clockwise motion. Here also have the lock. We can lock it back after we adjust the size, the length for left and the right. We can lock back too to lock. They take up the device not shaking. <coughs> and also here we can lock it. So this is the front view of the star file. Then we will go to the left cover, we open the left cover. 
we can see here is the motor, the motion motor for Y axis for the printing, for the printing axis like this. To drive this motor is for drive the the bottom loader here. And inside, here inside the top loader with temperature, <coughs> with heating, heating, temp, heating tube inside. And inside the box is the up-down device, electronic up-down device for up-down. So this is the left cover. And also we can take it out this cover and we can do some cleaning job for, for manually to clean the print head. And then we go to the right side of the printer. When we open the top cover, <clears throat> first we can see the top is emergency button stop. So if you've got any dangerous motion, you can push down the button to stop the, the motion for the carriage and for the, for the y-axis motor. When the dangerous is released, so you can load the bike to release it. So this is the temperature, so this is the dangerous emergency button stop to cut down the power for X motor and Y motor. This is X motor for drive the carriage left to right and the Y motor is up there as we said before. And here the total of this is the carriage, we call it carriage. Inside is the ink damper at the top, the carriage board the print head and the, the white ink circulation sub ink tank inside and also the UV lamp. Here have the ink UV lamp. The left the UV <coughs> the right UV lamp have two pieces, one for bigger, one for varnish. And the right we also have the UV lamp here. Big UV lamp. So please do not see the UV lamp directly by your eyes. And here is the is anti inclusion device to protect the print head. So once if the film is bending up, the film is bending up, it will hit this protection device to protect the film, scratch the print head to cause the print head damage. And also here is the inco sensor, a transparent film because here. So here, the transparent, the film, is to detect the print position for the carriage, for the print head. So this film must be keep at the middle of the sensor inside, the sensor inside. And also we must keep it clean without dirty ink or scratch. We must keep it clean for all the time. And also we can see here the rear, we have the serial number. The serial number here. The serial number is the ID, the ID number for the printer. So once you got any problem for the printer, you can tell, you can check this kind of serial number and send this picture to focus team. Then we will know the configuration of the printer and do the support for you. And here, we can see here, this is the metal. It's for lock the carriage lock the carriage uh, with the, <coughs> the, the rear. This is for protect the delivery, for packaging, for delivery to, without shaking. So once you've got the machine, we must uh, remove this kind of pieces, the, the protection pieces, metal. If you not remove this, then you power on the printer. We are sure we will make the motor error, we damage the motor. So we must remember, we must remove this kind of this kind of metal before we use the machine. So in one word, this is the carriage. This is the carriage. Later we will show you what the spare parts inside and what's the function. At the outside we can see carriage and we can see the protection, the key, the protection metal for delivery, and serial number, and the UV lamp box cover and anti inclusion device at the left and the right side. And also we can push down this 
window. Here you have a magnet. This is the magnet to close the cover. And also inside is the up-down motion device, electronic up-down motion device for this kind of uh, heating laminator. <coughs> and here is the totally for the cap station for print head to clean the pump, to clean the ink and the wiper and maintain the cap station with full bore screw up the motion, high precision, and also the motor here, the caps, is the caps to hold the print head. And when the print, when you got the printer, it will don't have installed the print head because the print head is, is very expensive <coughs> and important. So if we install the print head on the carriage for delivery, it will be easy to scratch the print head. So normally the customer needed to install the print head once you, you got the printer. And here at the front, we can see here have two, have three, the pump, clean pump for each print head. Uh, here have a mark, this is for pump cyan, a pump, pump color. Pump C is for pump color ink, color print head. And this is for pump white, for white ink print head. And here is for pump V, is for varnish print head. So I have three pumps to connect to the cap station. So this is the top, this is the carriage, and this is the cap station. And when we go to the right side, we can see here is control panel. This is the control panel. Here is a screen and some buttons. All the buttons, all the function we can also control by the computer. And also you can control from here for the for this one, this back is for is to move the, the film backside. And the feet is for move the film at the front side. The left is to control the carriage to left side. And right is also move the carriage to right side. And here is the the working lamp, the working LED lamp for the printer. When the printer is red, uh, is green color, that means it's normal. It's, it's for adder, it's for ready. And if when the light is changed to, to yellow, that means the printer is under working printing. And uh, here is the boot boot button is for start for boot for power on the printer when you push down this button all the printer will be start up and here is the the control panel is the control device to control the temperature of the laminator and also control the LED lamp at top side a top cover and also control the one q one q fine the one q volume for the table for the table here is have one q have the the fine one q adsorption fine the bottom of the table to suck to suck the <coughs> film without bending up so the the strong the strongness of the film of the vacuum, we can control from this kind of button. So this is the control system, control panel, and the buttons for the printer. At the left, at the right side. Okay, then we go to the right side, the left side of the printer. Here is the lock. We push it down and we can float by this direction. We can take it out. We open the cover. Then we can see some uh, electronic parts. We can see this is the motor driver. This is the motor driver for the Y axis, for Y motor. And this is the control box for the up down motion for the laminator. 
the tuber, the yellow tuber, for abdominal motion to release the film or to 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 hold the film or release the film. So this is the control box for the laminator. <clears throat> okay, then we go to the back side of the printer. We can see first, we can see the ink tank for each color. Black, cyan, magenta, yellow. Last I let the magenta, varnish, and white. Different printing heads, we use different configuration. For example, if your printer installed with Epson i3200, you want print head, then you only need to use KCMY, varnish, and white. We keep the last cyan, let the magenta empty because the Epson i3200 print head. It doesn't support this color, it's full color print head. But if you installed the Epson F1080 print head or DX11, so you can, you can install Last Cyan, Let Magenta, go with KCMY and Varnish and White because the Epson F1080 print head is this color. And here, is the, the time controller for the saturation because the white ink we have saturation system to prevent the white ink settling for a long time not using to clock print head. So this is the time setting, time setting device. It can control it can control the, the pump working sixty seconds for every 10 minutes or 50 seconds, we can set the working time and the waiting time for the temp controller here. And the, this is a speed control knob for the circulation pump. And this is a, this is the wet ink circulation pump. And we can control the speed. The more high speed, then the wet ink will more high more volume coming out to separation, go back to this kind of box, the white ink box. So here have this kind of box have two have two tubers, one for out and one for inside. White ink out and white ink in, white ink back to this box. <clears throat> then we go to the middle of the back side. We can see here also have a lots of uh, different spare parts. Here is the pinch lower for the load, for the film load device. And here is for the, the, wind, the winds lower to detect, to, to push, tension, push the film downside. And once the film is go directory like this, then we will detect by the sensor here, the metal sensor here then control the, the, the waste the, is the, the protection film. This is the protection film for the film A. Normally this film at bottom is with the top protection film. Go with the glue and go with the bottom wet ink, sorry, go with the bottom wet paper together. So we must pull out this film for working, for printing. So this is the waste film. We can call it the film C. This is the film C for, for waste film to, to roll up. So this, this is not use. This will not use. We just, uh, this is just pull out from the film A, this film. So this, is, this device is also for control the film rolling up. And this is the protection sensor for the film C. And the bottom here is the paper release device for the film A. This is the film A. This is for printing. And we must 
after we after we load the sense load the film to the printer we need this is the tension this is the tension device we can load to adjust the tension for each loader for each film and also we can adjust the direction for each film we must make sure the edge of film A and edge of film C and edge of film B at front must be the, the same line trajectory. So this is the back side of the printer. Then we go to the left side of the printer at the back side. We first we can see here is the power power switch for totally the printer, the general power switch, the power plug, and also the well the the water circulation tube. This is for the control box for the UV lamp to reduce the temperature to protect the UV lamp. And the instant cable. The instant cable. The focus star file we use the instant cable, not USB, for high speed printing. And the power cable. We must be sure, before we use the printer, we must be sure we install, connect with the correct temper, the correct voltage. So we must uh, ask the focus support team to be sure the print is installed with 220 voltage or 10, or 110, 80, uh, 110 voltage. And when we open the cover, here we can see this is the electronic system for the printer. At top is the main board. It's the main board for the printer. And here have lots of the lecture, lots of connectors and with different mark for each function. And here is the optical cable to carriage board and power cable and some uh, sensor like that. And here is the Ethernet port for connect with the computer for printing. And here the bottom is the power power board, the power board for the printer to support supply supply the power for the printer for printing. So this is the electronic system at the back side. And then we go to the right side. We open the cover. We can see also have some uh, Spare parts. This is the X motor to drive the carriage printing. And some relay for the sensors and for different working. And the power supply box for some spare parts. The control panel direction, the control panel cable connection, like this. So this is the right side of the printer. We push back and we can lock back to protect the dust. Then we can see here is a UV control box. This is the general power switch. And this is the temperature, temperature controller to detect the temperature of the water. If the temperature is higher, it will have an alarm. And here is the adjust the knob for UV1, UV2, and for varnish, varnish knob. Each knob we already have marked here, so you just adjust to this position for working for, diff, for, each, for each knob. And top is the water tank top is the water time. So when you first, either, if you're the first time to install printer, we cannot power on the, the, the printer, uh, power on the box, because we, we need to install by the tuber to the box, otherwise the, the, the water will be flushed out. So just follow, must be step by step to use the printer. And here is the waste, waste ink bottle 
to hold the waste ink from the cap station, from the print head for cleaning and for keep weight. When it's full, we must release it, the install bike. And here also is the tension roller. There's a tension roller, tension, tension adjuster roller for the for control the tension of the film. This is the paper take up motor and paper take up roller. So this is the all the spare parts function for the Fox Star Fire Six Two UV DTF printer. Once you know the function and the name for each spare parts, then we can start to install the printer.